In undercover boss news submitted by Beard is Weird, a mayor disguises himself as a disabled person to test his public servants. <laughs> oh, that's dope. That's dumb. You can't do that. A mayor? A mayor. It depends on which disability he gave himself. Oh. I would like to. What's the okay disability? Um, well, this one you guys got laughed at quite a bit, and I thought that was fucked up. No, we didn't laugh at that. We laughed at the fact that you had to prove yourself because you're such a fucking troll and you had to slam it against. Oh, go on. Yeah. And I have restless leg syndrome, and everyone makes fun of me for that. I have it too. I have it too. Oh, well, that's awesome. See, we're all riddled it's with a that. Made up 50% of this room. Oh, see, a lot of people out there are laughing at that shit. Shame on you. No one's laughing, loser. You think it's a, a joke until you sleep with someone who has restless leg syndrome, and then you'll be crying home to your mama. Or you watch a movie with yeah, them. Oh yeah. mm -hmm. Or sit next to them on a plane, yep. movie theater. Do movie exactly. theater's the worst. Oh my God. And they grab your knee and you're like, don't fucking touch me, this is my release. See? You know you can take meds for that. Really? Oh, I refuse. I'll Psycho like... nerve medication. Look at all three of us right now. We're like, laugh! <laughs> I've been doing it, but I'm trying to keep it up bed. I'm so grateful that I knock out fast, because if we're in bed, I just, like, every, like, 10 seconds. I'm sorry. I feel this. Ugh, oh, I know. This movie theater, constant. I'm the worst, this is too. It's constantly moving. Yeah. I'm like, babe, can you just. No, you don't even know you're doing it. Yeah. I do know I'm doing it because I want to control it so fucking bad. And I'm like, oh! I don't know that I'm doing it. So this Mexican mayor disguised himself um, as a disabled person by putting himself in, in a wheelchair. So his name is Carl. Uh, e that's easy. That's very easy. People do that all day. I want to see his acting skills. I wanted. To, I thought was. He, I thought he was gonna be like Michael Scott. Fuck. So his name is Carlos Tena. He's the mayor of Guatemoc, which is in Chihuahua. Look at this fucking state. guy. Carlos. Hey. All right. He looks like a cattle rancher. Yeah. So he dressed up like this. <laughs> Damn! Like he's going Yo, skiing? Wow. Like he's, he's like he's weak, into it. He's weakened at Bernie's in this shit. Look at this. <laughs> What's he doing under that blanket is my question. Yeah. He's cold. Yeah, he's, he's, it's, he's I like man. this. He's, he's That's really how you know committed. they're disabled. They have a blanket over their legs like fucking Roosevelt. That is correct. <laughs> yeah, that was a great reference. Thank you. <laughs> Historical. Mm -hmm. So he walked in. So for a long time he's been getting a lot of complaints from the people saying that uh, his coworkers don't treat disabled people very well. Oh. Which happens, it's true. Yeah, and so he was like, you know what? I gotta find out for myself. So he spent two months putting together this disguise. Two months? That's something you can find in a fucking trash can. I agree. What the fuck is this guy doing as mayor? You find a wheelchair in a trash can? Oh yeah, you, off of South Brea? I <laughs> used to sell medical products, and I happen to know that they're fairly expensive. I highly yeah. doubt he dedicated every day. He was like doing mayor stuff for yeah. two months, and then last minute he was like, oh shit, I gotta do this thing. <laughs> yeah, why, also why does timeline matter? I don't know, but and why is he running his own fucking errands? Because well, he does have an assistant, so they do mention that he needs a new assistant. Yeah, the assistant took two months to do this. She comes back and she's like, has a banana costume. She's like, would this work? And he's like, no, you've delayed me another week. Or she's like, I love my fucking job. She's like, it took me two months to get all this shit for this. Sunglasses and a blanket. Exactly. Well, what if this dude's like hella particular and he's like, the green beanie or the fucking navy blue? Not my color. Nobody will believe this green blanket. Yeah. It took him two months to get it to smell a certain oh, way. Oh, right. Or like to like let the sun bleach it. Yeah, let the sun. In the picture, he looks legit. I think he did a great job. He's a master of disguise. He just looks cold to me. He looked like he would cough dirt in that picture. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. So when he walked in, or like rolled in, <laughs> he was oh, seeking assistance. Um, at the social... <laughs> I want to see if he disguises his voice and shit, too. Yeah. Hello. So, my name is not... Um, uh, Carlos. Carlos. <laughs> my name is Salos. <laughs> Salo. <laughs> <laughs> so he asked for a free meal, which the disabled and poor citizens are entitled to getting according to the law, really? but he was ignored wow. and even discriminated against. Because he was saying, like, you know, people were passing by, like, his own co workers were passing by him and they would, like, kick the chair and stuff. Like, they were just being <gasps> mean. What the fuck? Like, straight up mean. I would have got out, like, motherfucker, what the fuck? <laughs> so then, hold on. <laughs> Surprise! And then he shows him his mayor badge. I know. Dude, you gotta be hella tempted to stand mayor up. Mayor badge. <laughs> so then he ended up talking to, like, his secretary and then she, she was very rude to him and told him to wait in the hallway because oh, he asked shit. to speak to the mayor. Which isn't tough. And then so. <laughs> That's tight. So then. If you didn't um, know, now you know. That. Yeah, just in case you yeah. forgot. His mayor badge, so, remember? Yeah. So then he was just like, he waited enough 
time to see like You're like a fucking cat. Sorry, it was shiny in my face. <laughs> Alright, so it's he, either your tits or your earrings. What do you want from me? Just focus sit on, on my story. Hand. Just eat a hand. fucking potato chip. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you do look like a cat, Kelsey. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard worse. Cats are beautiful. My cats are really pretty. It's, this is what happens when you guys give me caffeine. Okay, what were we saying? So he ended up waiting until he got enough of, like, you know, abuse and disrespect as being. <laughs> Wait till I got disabled. shit on. That's fucked yeah. up. So then that's when he actually stood up and said, yes. I'm the fucking mayor. Uh -huh. I'm Carlos. How did yes. he unravel? Did he throw his poncho <laughs> over like that? And so, like, like, his breaking point was when the. the someone, someone kicked his wheelchair. Hijo de tu chingada puta madre. That's what he said. Puta tamale. Yep. I like the tamale. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. So then he, that's when the city hall staff. Oh was shit. Their jaws on the floor. Yep. They were like, ay. Yeah. <laughs> the lady who was about to pour hot coffee all over this disabled person was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, so he says, like, you know, the purpose of this experiment is to show the reality that citizens experience every day and the indifference and neglect that they face from public servants. So he decided to do this. Um, and But he actually did mention that he wanted to do something similar to this a while back, but people just forgot about it. Because his fucking assistant kept fucking up. Oh. She takes two months to get a yeah. fucking sweater. He said his assistant said it would take a year to put together. Because <laughs> this to operation it, it took one day. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry, Didn't you see that his own, oh, his secretary, not assistant. Okay. <laughs> she yeah. forgot. She fucking <laughs> fell for the trap. <laughs> she like kicks it she off the way. She helped him create the costume. Move, you freak. And he's like, yo, Tanya. <laughs> Remember we did this this morning? She's like, oh, what's that? It was a banana suit. My bad, dog. Dude, that would totally be me because I'm forgetting everything right now. I'd be like, oh, oh shit, no. sorry, boss. <laughs> That's yeah. fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah. yeah. So what what's changing because of this? Well, so it was just a Getting story that went everyone? viral. Oh. And then um no, so he he told like he scolded everyone. No. They gotta do Fuck. ableness training. What do you mean scolded? They should be fired, Fuck dude. They're yeah. kicking a guy in a wheelchair. Yeah, these people are <laughs> here. Like, hey, about about kicking people in wheelchairs. Don't we do don't it. like that here, okay? Don't do that. What's yeah, so crazy is he said that not all of them displayed the same attitude towards them, but he made it very clear that he did not want to hear any more complaints from people being mistreated again or he would take drastic measures. So he left it as a Give him a second chance. Imagine yeah. actually going to work the next day after you kicked your boss, the mayor, in a fucking wheelchair. I'd just quit if I was that person, right? This is like undercover boss, dude. It's like, and we're setting some new rules about kicking people to wheelchairs. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that was the title of the thing, undercover boss. Oh my the God. News. But if yeah. you are a boss and then someone, one of your employees kicked you in, in the wheelchair, right? You, you own them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because you just look at them every morning like Joe, Kathy. Being in a relationship with this man is the scariest thing I could possibly imagine. Fuck. <laughs> what would you it's do like, then? If you fuck up, I own you. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Because most people are like, oh, let's get them out of here. And I'm like, I win. I own you now. You're the long con play. You're like, you're the long con guy. Now you'll do whatever Joe wants. Oh yeah, whatever Joe wants. Because okay. being a mayor is like creepy. being yeah. like a king. What is this what, a dictatorship? He wants to be a dictator. King. Okay. Why are you so judgy about it? I'm just wondering what happened to you that you didn't get enough attention? No, it's just much better when someone smarter controls everything. And that's you. I think Obviously. Come on, like, look at this situation. You have public servants kicking people in wheelchairs, right? Wouldn't it be better if the almighty king that pretended he was a wheelchair guy to fix this whole problem, he was able to just throw everybody out, change his whole administration, and do what he wants to do. He could have them all tied to posts and shot. Exactly. Think Clean about that. up the streets. See? Clean it up. But you always say it yourself, you can't stop their from, them from being bad people. There's always yeah, gonna be can. bad people gonna, in the world. You're gonna kill them. Oh. See? If we had a dictator. Yep. But a good dictator this time, yeah, not a shitty one. one. Oh, okay. See? This time a good one. Like a King good guy. Arthur. Like King Arthur and the, the Knights of the, the Round Table. Yeah, like yeah. they're they're good guys. He you was know? sick. Yeah. Like the Disney version? He was very well liked. Uh, the Sunday morning <laughs> cartoon version. Okay. That was cool. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah I like that nice. show a lot. So I mean, like, what's the difference, dude? They call him a king and he's nice and he was for good. See? Do you think anyone's gonna trust this mayor anymore? <laughs> True. Well, I feel like some old lady's gonna be walking down the hallway and he's gonna try to rip her wig off. And be like, not again, Carlos! And she's like, my hair! 
<laughs> and then that guy gets sued. Oh, fuck. This is how this ends. That's true. That's a good point. That's how he keeps them on their toes. On their toes. That's tight. They, they're paranoid. PTSD. They're like. Here's what I don't think this helps, actually. I think that now they'll just be looking for this fat Mexican dude in a wheelchair with sunglasses on, and they'll they'll cater to him when he's there. Ah. But then everybody else, it's like back to normal. Damn. Like guys with canes. Yep. Point of the story, check your ableness, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, like, you know, we don't have to think about how I would get into a certain building, but people who don't have that ableness constantly like get turned down from places or they don't have the proper like you can't go to the bathroom think about how many bathrooms there are that are so tiny or like in new york the bars are so tiny like so many people who are disabled don't get to experience the same life with you now i sound i've like. moved to las vegas and live in a hotel that's like oh that's everything is wheelchair accessible mm -hmm. okay. i'll think about that next time i'm in a very narrow hallway i'll check my ableness i feel like casinos are the least <laughs> yeah. Casinos are the least racist place ever. Like, um, they don't give a damn. Weren't they built on, like, Native American land by white dudes? But there's also Native American casinos. Oh. That's right. And they kill it. All casinos, I feel like they're the... They don't care, because if you have money, you know... Okay. You can do whatever you want. Care. Yeah. So you're all welcome as long as you're rich. Yep. Dude, or have you a could, problem. You could play poker in your pajamas, and they'll serve you a fucking prime rib dinner yep. at 3 a.m. Five you're dollars. Asleep. That's crazy. It makes no sense. There's no better place to live. Yep. Than a casino hotel. 